Hey guys, it's Jill. So excited to be talking with you. Just a really quick update for you on some information that was new for me that I thought might be helpful for you. Um, as we're coming through the Common Core Standards, becoming much more expertful at teaching them, one of the things that we really have to look at is uh, what this, what the standards exactly are asking us to use and why particular words might have been chosen to appear in the standards. And so one of the things as it relates to RL and RI point standards one and two is that we see words like retelling, recounting, and also summarizing. And so I kind of always took those terms, retelling, recounting, and, su and summarizing is kind of meaning about the same thing. And I feel like if you would ask me what the difference between the three of those things were, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. So now I've done some research and some work so that I can tell you the difference between those things so that we can make sure that when we see them in our standards, we're, we're teaching what the standards are asking us to teach. Retelling is a tool, by the way, all three of these things are tools for helping us to understand the text better. So these are strategies for comprehension, not means or not um, ends, end results in, of, in and of themselves. So retelling is a tool that we use to increase and also measure comprehension. And the information uh, from retelling is something that's told in a sequence from a large piece of text. So it's basically kids like talking through what they've read. When you see the term recounting, it is specific information from what kids have read, but told very specifically in chronological order, focusing very heavily on facts. So the difference between retelling and recounting is retelling is much freer. It's kind of just a, a talking through in their own words of what they read. Recounting is absolutely told in chronological order, focusing heavy, heavily on facts and who, what, when, where, why, how. Summarizing is taking the main parts of the text and sharing main ideas and supporting details in its original form and in um, its original level of discourse. So while you might have retelling and recounting a bit freer, maybe even informal language, summarizing is going to be the main parts of the text and the supporting details in particular, and also using the same vocabulary and discourse level of the text that they've read. So one of the things that I want you to do right now is to go into your standards at your grade level and see where you see those terms and um, see what you find and then make adjustments accordingly. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.